happy autumn you know that autumn is my absolute favorite season and to celebrate it i'm going to be making my very first autonomous project so today i'm going to be making a massive pumpkin cushion using my knitting machine so this is the machine i'm going to be using this is the centro 48 pins knitting machine and the very first thing we have to do is to make the actual pumpkin so i'm going to be using my absolute favorite yarn this is a dk yarn by teslan.com and this is the bravismo in this beautiful orange shade isn't this the perfect pumpkin shade and i'm going to be sharing everything you need to know so you can make one too if you want to use your knitting machine so make sure that first the knitting machine is in the tube setting not the panel setting and reset the row counter as well because i'm going to be sharing with you how many rounds we are going to be doing and then in the little peg here make sure that you have the very first one in which is the white one and if you notice that my voice is a little bit different it's just because i have a cold and I'm not feeling very well. That's why I want to do a super quick and fun little project to boost my creativity, my motivation, because I need it. <laughs> so if you don't know how to use a knitting machine, I have a video on how to use your knitting machine for absolute beginners. So you will learn how to use it and then you can come back and watch this video and make this pumpkin later. You can watch this video here. I'll leave it linked in the description below. So I'm going to cast on all the way around. And that is going to be the size of my pumpkin. And then I don't know how many rounds I'm going to do. But yeah, I'm just going to crunk and crunk until I have the sizing of the pumpkin I want. In which I don't know yet. <laughs> so let's go ahead and cast on all the way around. So now I'm going to go through the last one and through the feeder and into the second tension. I'll make sure to reset my row counter so now I can start counting the rows. So now that we have the cast on done, we can now start cranking and cranking until we have the amount of rounds we want for our pumpkin. The very first few rounds you want to do it quite slowly, but then the rest you're good to go. <laughs> you can just do as fast as you want. <laughs> Just make sure that you have enough yarn that is not going around the skein so that it can run really nice and smoothly in the machine. Otherwise it's gonna get caught and you don't want that happening because you can lose some stitches. It has been around 30 minutes now and I've done 74 rounds and I want to do my pumpkin double layered so I'm gonna do I'm planning on doing 100 rounds in total because then I can double it if you want to do it single layered then just do 50 but I think it's gonna look better double layered so I'm planning on doing 100 rounds so I have a couple more to do. We are getting to 100 rounds. One more. Yay, 100. Let's get to the white peg now. Where is the white one? White. Right here. So now that I have 100 rounds, I can cast off. So that's what I'm going to be doing next. Cut a little tail. You don't need it a lot. About 50 centimeters, it's enough. I'm gonna go around the white peg and leave it in the center. So now that we have this, in which is a long tube, as you can see, we can put it together into our pumpkin. I'm going to complete it. So I'm going to put it together, stuff it, close both sides, and make the pumpkin ribs as well. 
So let's do that next. <laughs> so we have to join both openings together. So we are going to be just opening the tube and we are going to be putting one side through the other like this. So we are going to be having wrong sides together. So now you can simply just pull the ends nice and tight to close both openings. So I'm going to do the one inside first and then I'm going to fasten off. So I'm simply going to go through a couple of stitches and then I'm going to go through the loop before finish the sewing. And this is going to just fasten off that opening and then I'm going to do the same to the other one. Make sure that you leave both ends here on the outside because we are going to be using them. And now we can make a knot using these two just to secure everything in place. And now we basically have a beanie now. <laughs> But this beanie is going to turn into a pumpkin, so we're going to stuff it next. I hope this is going to be enough. <laughs> so the next thing I'm going to use will be this bag of fiber stuffing and stuff the inside of my pumpkin. And you can stuff it as much as you want. I am liking the size of this so happy I did 100 rounds. I was going to do 50 rounds and it was going to turn so small. Yay! This is going to be the cutest pumpkin ever. I think I'm happy with this. Now let's close the top. And I'm simply going to transfer one of the ends through the center and then I'm going to close the top and I'm going to do it with the shorter one. Go through the bottom and then get it through here. So you're simply going to pick up each of the little loops that you have on the side, going all the way around. All the little vertical loops you have here. Those are the ones you're gonna get all the way around. And now we can close the top really nice and tight. Just simply go back and forth closing it until you don't have any more gaps at the top. If you have enough yarn as I have here, you can make some of the ribs already. So I'm just gonna go around the outside of the pumpkin through the bottom and then through the top again. And this is going to make the first rib. Pull tight as you wish. And then you're simply going to fasten off here at the top. So you're going to find a little stitch. And then before you finish the sewing, go through the loop. But you're going to keep on holding that in place because otherwise it's going to come undone. I think I can make one more with this. So I'm going to make one more. Yes, I can make one more. <laughs> And now you can simply hide this little tail inside the pumpkin. And now you can continue making the ribs using the bottom end. So that's what I'm going to do. So once you are done making as many ribs as you wish, you can fasten off one more time and then just hide this end inside the pumpkin. Stop, this is so adorable. I love this. Ah! <laughs> and this is exactly the size that I want it to be. So massive, it's the size of my head. <laughs> so like this is about 26 centimeters and then the height is about 13 centimeters. So 26 by 13. It's pretty big, right? Ah, this is going to look amazing. Oh, wow. <laughs> if you want, you can simply just glue a cinnamon stick into the center here at the top and you're good to go. But because I know how to crochet, I'm going to do the last two details 
in crochet in which will be the stem and the curlicues as the leaf. Maybe I'm going to do two, but let's see. But yeah, the next two details I'm going to do in crochet and I'm going to show you how to do it. And it's so, so easy. So the next thing I'm going to do will be the stem. Now, I don't know which one I'm going to use for the stem. I have these two, but putting it together like this with the pumpkin, I think the brown one looks better because it has kind of like a gray tone to it. So I think I'm going to use this brown one here. And now for my crochet tools, I'm going to be using a tape measure, tapestry needle, pair of scissors and my super autonomous five millimeters crochet hook, my custom made one. Look at that, so beautiful, I love it. <laughs> so begin by making a slip knot and then you can chain as many chains until you reach the desired length for your stem. I'm going to be doing a chain of about eight centimeters. There we go, I have eight centimeters and this is 13 chains, I'm going to do an extra one, so I have here 14 in total. So now I'm going to be skipping the very first chain, go into the second one and work a single crochet. And now I'm going to single crochet into every chain down. So when you get at the end, simply chain one, turn your work. The chain one is not gonna count as a stitch. And then you simply just go into single crochet all the way down. So go into the very first one and then single crochet all the way down into every single stitch. So now go ahead and repeat row two until you have eight rows in total or five centimeters. So as you can see, I have my eight rows completed in which is five centimeters. And now we can fasten off. So I'm going to chain one and then you wanna leave a tail here that it's five times the size here of the longer edge. And now you can cut off the yarn and fasten off. So now we are going to be folding it in half like so, joining the longer edges together. First we have to close the top and then go down closing the side. So once you've finished sewing the top here, just cinch it in together and then you're going to transfer it to the side here like this and then just sew the side close. Now just unfold it, making a little tube and if you want you can add some stuffing to the inside of this little tube that we've created. I'm going to add it just a little bit. Now with the shorter end, I'm going to weave in. And now we can sew the stem into the center of the pumpkin. Just going around, getting one stitch of the stem and one of the pumpkin. And then doing that all the way around. Once you are done sewing the stem in place, you're going to fasten off and then just hide this end inside the stem. You can keep it like this. Or you can add the next detail I'm going to be adding in which will be some curly cues. I think I'm going to add two because they usually look super, super cute on pumpkins. So yeah, that's the next thing I'm going to do. I would keep it like that actually. If I make a second one, I'm going to do it like this. Maybe I can make a cream one and just do it like that to decorate somewhere around the house. Maybe the shelves here with a pumpkin. And this is the green yarn I'm going to be using for the curlicues. So now let's go ahead and make the curlicues together. Leave enough yarn for the weave-in and then make a slip knot and then you can chain as many as you want. The longer you do the chain, the longer the curlicues. So for this one I'm gonna do a chain of 20. So here's my chain of 20. It's measuring about 12 centimeters. 
And then to make the curly Q, you are simply going to skip the very first chain and then you're going to work three single crochets into the next chain. And then you're going to repeat that all the way down. So into every chain, you're going to work three single crochets. And then you will see that it's going to start creating a little curl and then you can just follow the curl and curl it like this. Make sure that into the very last chain you also add three single crochets and this is how the curly Q it's going to look like. So adorable, look at that. <laughs> now if you want you can just add one like this. So you are simply going to chain one, leave enough yarn for the sewing you want to do. I usually leave about 20 to 30 centimeters and then you can fasten off and attach to your pumpkin. Now if you want to make more curly cues, you are simply from here you are going to chain as many as you want and then repeat the same steps as the first one. So for this second one I'm going to do a chain of 10 and then I'm going to be skipping that first chain and then three single crochets into the next one and then I'm just going to follow that all the way down. So three single crochets into every chain down. So I got into the last chain right here and into that I'm also going to work three single crochets. Now I'm going to chain one, leave a tail of about 20 to 30 centimeters, trim and fasten off. Before I weave in this shorter one I make a knot joining the two together. And then I'm going to weave in the shorter end. So now bring your pumpkin and you're going to be sewing the curly Q in place. So you want to simply just fold the curly Qs. So separating the longer from the shorter one like this. And now you can simply just attach it in place. At the end, fasten off and then you can just hide the end inside the pumpkin into the center. And that's it. Here's our pumpkin. So adorable. <laughs> use it as a cushion we can use it as a decor yeah so this is how my pumpkin turned out let me know what you guys think in the comments i am definitely going to be making a cream one and maybe another shade of orange one as well so that i have three and then also i can just decorate around the house i actually don't even feel that i have a cold anymore now i feel so motivated so happy and so creative i just want to keep on making more pumpkins so i really hope you have enjoyed making some pumpkins with me in today's video and if you end up making them don't forget to tag me so i can see your beautiful creation thank you so much for watching today's video and i'll see you in my next one bye